New York and Chicago, and in some cases causing real safety and security concerns. Given in that, why should voters trust you to solve this crisis? Because we worked very hard to get a bipartisan agreement that not only changed all of that, it made sure that we are in a situation where you had yeah, yeah. no circumstance where they could come across the border with the number of border police there are now. We significantly increased the number of asylum officers. Significantly, by the way, the Border Patrol endorsed me, endorsed my position. In addition to that, we found ourselves in a situation where I when he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were in the, the, the families were separated. Yeah, That's not the right way to go. What I've done since I've changed most of the time they the weren't their kids anyway. What's happened? I've changed it in a way that now and we all know that. you're in a situation where there are 40% fewer people coming across the border legally. Yeah. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we can do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. But they can't do Trump, anything. I really don't know what he said at the end of this. And I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. The board, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. He decided to open up our border, open up our country to people that are He's from right. prisons. Nobody will know. People that are from mental institutions, insane asylum, terrorists. We have the largest number of terrorists coming into our country right now. All terrorists all over the world, not just in South America, all over the world. They come from the Middle East, everywhere. All over the world, they're pouring in. And this guy just left it open. And he didn't need legislation because I didn't have legislation. I said, close the border. We had the safest border in history. In that final couple of months of my presidency, we had, according to Border Patrol, who is great, and by the way, who endorsed me for president, but I won't say that, but they endorsed me for president. Brandon, just speak to him. But look, Brandon. we had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. And people are dying all over the place, including the people that are coming up in Thank you, President Trump. President Biden.